All right, so don't put your gloves on yet. I've got everybody's got their own pair of gloves. And what I'm gonna have you do first is practice tying the tourniquet. Because tying the tourniquet is really one of the trickiest parts, okay? Try and get zoomed in on how I do the tying of the tourniquet as well. But watch me. Remember how they said you need to make sure that you are pulling the tourniquet tight before you wrap it so that it doesn't pull on their skin or their hair. Can one of you hold the arm steady while I do this? Okay, so I'm gonna have my hands close together. Nathan, Dylan, guys, just leave that for a second. All right, I'm holding my fingers close together and I'm gonna wrap it around. And go ahead and switch hands, okay? Then the top string gets tucked under, like you're gonna start tying your shoes, but you don't push it all the way through, you just tuck it under. This strategy keeps the tails out of the way of where you're gonna draw blood, and it allows you to do a quick release by just pulling on one string, okay? So I want you guys now to practice tying. So one of you is gonna hold the arm for them and the other one's gonna tie. Okay, so hold it nice and steady. Gage, if you don't mind holding this for her. Get it nice and steady. Rosa. Beautiful. So don't, don't push it all the way under. Just um, okay, Ishan. So, okay. you've got this. From whose box? Okay. Now, the top one is getting tucked under. Okay? Oh, wait. Which hands? Oh, wait. You pull it nice and, and tight. Tuck, and then the top one goes underneath. Like, I my left hand. Because it's nice and tight, though. Put your hands close together. There you go. And the top okay, one, tuck it under. Okay, beautiful. All right. Now, the arms are anatomically correct in terms of where the vessels are placed. So you guys uh, will have just one of you draw blood at a time, but whomever's gonna draw the blood first, go ahead and palpate or feel for where you want to draw the blood from. You can see some areas that have been used commonly. You can choose anywhere. You're gonna palpate and then you're gonna wipe that area clean with an alcohol pad, but we don't use real alcohol pads because alcohol breaks down the skin. So find out where you wanna go. Wipe it down. Put your gloves on. There's something on there. Yeah, I know. This is the fun part. And everyone has struggled today with putting their gloves on. I'm not sure why. I'm blaming it on the new cheap gloves, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Did you get extra larges? Uh, I have extra large on that back table. I'm going to grab those. Okay. <laughs> it breaks, yeah. I hate it when they do that, and then, but it's like just the cup, and it's annoying. All right. While he's getting those, I'll go ahead and walk you through. You're going to take the cap off of your needle carefully, and don't touch the needle. No, just pull the cap off. Yep. Now, the bevel of the needle, or the opening of the needle, needs to be facing up. So you have it upside down. Now, do you see how it's facing up? The bevel is up, turn it even a tiny bit more. It's gonna make it a lot more comfortable when it goes in the patient's skin. So now without touching that area again, you're gonna go into the, that vessel that you cleaned off at an angle of like 15 to 20 degrees, and you'll almost feel or hear a pop. When you think you're in, then you're gonna draw back on your syringe and draw out the blood. Okay? So take off your cap and check for that bevel. Mm -hmm. The bevel is like the yeah, opening there. of your then, needle. Back. Okay, so this is a good example to catch on video. So stop. Okay, so you went in, and I think you're in the right spot, but you went too far. So you went in and through. Mm -hmm. So now, if I pull it back just a tiny bit, now draw back on your syringe. Wrong one. No. Nope. Yeah, yeah you draw back. I can't draw back anymore. So. There. We were pulling that air out first. So Can let's go ahead and take it all out. Grass. There you go. Which side is the top? Push it all back into here. That one. Okay. Try again from the beginning. Okay. 
right, you're going to go in at like 10 to 20 degree angle, but you've just touched it again, so you'd have to put it off again. Going halfway in. Maybe. Okay. So right there, yeah, there. Yeah, and I'll pull back. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Look at that. Awesome. All right, draw your plunger back and see it again. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. Yep. 